Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sparkle English, where I teach you how to improve your level of English. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more grammar lessons like this one. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you about the verb should. We use should and shouldn't for suggestions, opinions, and giving advice. Should is a modal verb. Modal verbs are followed by an infinitive without to. We start with the subject, for example, I, then should. I should, you should, he should, she should. Note that with modal verbs, the modal verb stays the same for every subject. We do not say he shoulds or she shoulds. It's different from other verbs. Let's look at some examples. You should go to bed. You look really tired. Again, note that we have should plus the infinitive. We don't say you should to go to bed. We just say you should go to bed without the two. I should drink more water. Maria should make an appointment with the doctor. So we use should for suggestions and opinions. Should is similar to must. However, must is much stronger than should. If I say you must go to bed, it means it's an obligation. You have to go to bed. Should is a suggestion. It is softer than must. Let's look at some situation examples and give advice to these people. I have an important exam in three days. Can you think of some advice for this person? You should study every night for your exam. Byron is really bored. Let's give Byron some advice. What should he do? He should read a book or play outside. The kids are a bit hungry. What should they do? They should eat a piece of fruit or have a snack. Now let's look at shouldn't. We use shouldn't to advise someone against doing something. Shouldn't is the opposite of should. Shouldn't is formed with should plus not. Should not or shouldn't. Let's look at some examples. You shouldn't stay up so late. Jessica shouldn't spend so much money on clothes. She shouldn't watch TV all weekend. Now let's look at these situation examples and give advice using shouldn't. My stomach hurts. I feel so full. You shouldn't eat so much next time. I don't feel very well and I'm really tired. You shouldn't go out tonight. We can also use should to ask questions. We use should to ask questions when we are asking for advice. Should I? Should you? Should he? Should she? Let's look at some examples. Should we order pizza or pasta? Should I learn to play the piano or guitar? Should Tony move in with his best friend? Now, how would we answer these questions? Should we order pizza or pasta? We should order pizza. Should I learn to play the piano or guitar? You should learn to play the piano. Should Tony move in with his best friend? Yes, he should. Or no, he shouldn't. So now let's do a short quiz 
on should or shouldn't. In this quiz, you have to answer if these sentences are correct or incorrect. If they are incorrect, you must correct them. Number one, you should study for your exam tomorrow. Number two, she doesn't should text her ex-boyfriend. Number three, Jessica should to eat more vegetables each day. Number four, should James go to Italy or France next summer? Number five, he shouldn't spend so much time on his phone. And finally, number six, do I should order steak or roast beef? Okay, let's correct these. Number one is correct. You should study for your exam tomorrow. It is correct. Number two is incorrect. She doesn't should. This is incorrect. We don't say she doesn't should. How do we make should negative? We say should not or shouldn't. She should not text her ex-boyfriend or she shouldn't. Number three is also incorrect. Jessica should to eat more vegetables each day. We don't add to before the infinitive. So we have to remove that. Jessica should eat more vegetables each day. Number four is correct. Should James go to Italy or France next summer? Number five is also correct. He shouldn't spend so much time on his phone. And number six is incorrect. Do I should order steak or roast beef? With number six, we don't say do I should to make a question. We say should I, should I, with a capital S, should I order steak or roast beef? Okay, so let me know in the comment section how many you got correct out of six. So now I want you to practice giving advice in the comment section of this video. Imagine this is a situation. I want to get a pet, but I live in a small apartment. I am allergic to cats and dogs. What pet should I get? I want you to give advice using should and shouldn't in the comment section of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Sparkle English for more English lessons and I will see you in my next lesson.